Hey everyone, it's Mike from Orderflows here and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you could join me for this video or I'm gonna sort of follow up with my earlier video on um, recognizing supply coming into the market via the footprint chart. And you know, it's, it's important to have software that helps you identify what's taking place in the market, right? And you know, that's one of the reasons why I created my software, the Orderflows Trader software, um, to help me identify special situations in the market all right now before i jump in if you're enjoying my videos be sure to subscribe to the channel click that notification bell so you don't miss any new uploads and if you find today's video helpful be sure to hit that like button for me and leave a comment sharing your biggest takeaway i love hearing um, traders comments and feedback so your support really does go a long way um, in helping me um, get the motivation and the, the idea is to create more videos right i do create a lot of videos based off of your comments all right so let's go ahead and get started on today's topic all right so earlier today i did a video and you know a, a couple traders uh reached out to me saying hey mike um you know it's, it's a little confusing trying to recognize you know a, a falling market with um positive delta right like here red candle positive delta red candle positive delta, you know, um, you know, as we're going down here, you got negative delta, right, which is what you're expecting to see, and then, you know, further drops on positive delta, right? Positive delta, positive delta, positive delta, positive delta, positive delta, positive delta into these new lows. And is there an easy way to look at it as opposed to trying to sort of micromanage what's taking place in the delta, what's taking place in the footprint? There is, right? There is an answer. There is a solution to um, everything in a sense. Now, on our order flows trader software, okay, well, let's take a step back first, okay? What causes a market, right, or not market, a bar, a red candle, have positive delta okay, I'm going to just talk about red candles today because this is a falling market talking about supply so if you haven't watched the earlier video that I posted up earlier please take a look at it okay here you have a red candle but you got a couple buying imbalances okay that's what's causing these positive deltas because you have supply coming into the market what is supply it's people with something to sell Right, demand is buyers coming into the market wanting to buy something. Supply is you have a lot of inventory, you want to get rid of it, whether it's in this case gold, whether it's I, I used apples earlier, um, you know, eggs, coats, gloves, underwear, whatever, whatever you're selling. Right, if you ever work retail, you understand about you know supply and demand in, in a sense. I, I would hope so. But, you know, that's why stores have sales because they have a lot of supply. And they need to turn it over. One, they need the money. And two, they got new things coming in, right? Seasons change. And so when you start seeing these buying imbalances, that's to me like the first clue. If I got a red candle with buying imbalances. If this market is, if this bar here is closing lower and I got buying imbalances, I, I got to start to think, why is this bar closing down? When I've got aggressive buying in here, okay. Well, the reason why you got the imbalances is because you have suppliers in here, right? At ninety-two and a half, at ninety-two forty, at ninety-one ninety. I mean, you got supply at every level, but this is where you have those imbalances. Those stick out like a sore thumb. All right. So, I mean, if you're looking at a footprint, you could identify it. And again, depending on what sort of imbalance that you use. I use four to one, which is 400%. Um, you know, I was driving in my car the other day. I was just listening to some random YouTube video on, on order flow. The guy's talking about 300%. Really, it, it's what you feel comfortable with. I've used 400% for over a decade. I'm fine with it, all right? Some people I know use a higher number, right? More than 400%. And again, other traders use 300%. Obviously, the lower you go, the more imbalances you're going to get. The higher you go, the less imbalances you're going to get. And in the order flows trader software, we have a feature on here that's called inverse volume imbalance. OK, 
Okay. Now, to enable it, you click two. So it's going to be related to whatever imbalance trigger that you have here, right? I have 400%. Now you got a couple options, okay? Or say well, a couple, you got one option. <laughs> one, you got for imbalance cluster. All right, if you would just want to see if there's one imbalance, an opposite imbalance, an inverse imbalance, so that would be a buying imbalance in a red candle or a selling imbalance on a green candle. But again, I'm just talking about red candles today. You just want to highlight, um, well, the one, right? You change that to one. If then you could choose to highlight it um, fixed or until tested. Okay. So I'll just keep it at one, keep it nice and simple. So what it's going to do, it's going to highlight every imbalance, every buying imbalance in a red candle or every selling imbalance on a green candle. Okay. Because it's called an inverse imbalance because it's the opposite of what you're expecting. In this case, the selling imbalance on a green candle would be demand. The buying imbalance on a red candle would be supply. Okay. And just click apply. And you can see it's drawing out these zones. And, you know, on the way up, right, I'm seeing the blue, 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 right? This was our low here at 850. Okay. I got some demand. I got some support coming into this market. Then we get up to the swing high. Now this bar up here is quite interesting because you got both buying and selling a balance at the same level. But it's a green candle. So, you know, I'm really focusing on, you know, sort of is there support here? Okay, but then it doesn't go any higher. Now it starts selling off. Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. Two selling imbalances right here. Stack, oh, sorry, two stacked buying imbalances, right? One, two. Okay, that's the zone. Got another buying imbalance on a red candle. Here you got two. Here you got one. You got another one, another one. So now, right, this market was going up with bids you know decent bids that were absorbing whatever aggressive selling was coming in now the market is starting to drop right we sort of peak out up here start turning i mean you could just people say how do you know the market's turning well i've got one two three bars with rising delta right it was positive positive then negative more negative more negative right so at that point I'm, i got to be thinking this market is changing already because i've got swing high and I'm starting to see aggressive selling come in. Not only am I seeing aggressive selling coming in here from these three bars, now I'm starting to see strong passive selling coming in that's absorbing whatever aggressive buying is taking place. That aggressive buying shuts off for whatever reason, the market drops. The aggressive selling comes in, takes the market down. Here you got one, two, three, four selling imbalances, right? But I'm just sort of focusing on that inverse imbalance, that imbalance that's opposite what you expect to see, okay? And do you just see it all on the way down, right? We're coming down. Here's another bar. It's got two buying imbalances. Here's another bar, one buying imbalance. Okay, you, know, you got a buying imbalance down here. Okay, maybe the market can bounce. It doesn't. It doesn't go any higher. It goes inside. More supply coming to the market right here. Okay, market bounces up a little bit. You get this one green candle, buying imbalance on the top. Okay, maybe now this market can rally. Doesn't even go any higher. And then more supply comes in. In buying imbalance, buying imbalance, buying imbalance, buying imbalance, buying imbalance. You know there's still a lot of pressure on this market, right? Down into new lows. Supply, 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 supply. Right? All the way down. Supply, 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 supply. Okay. Then again, you start to hit this low. This is sort of your last bit of supply coming in the market. This 163, this 106. But now you're starting to see, you know, the nice positive deltas as the market's rallying, but buying imbalance, buying imbalance. Okay. So now you're just not seeing that supply that you had saw earlier after you get to this point. So that's, you know, one of the ways that you can use the order flows trader to easily identify when there's demand coming into the market because what's demand right demand is not just aggressive buying taking place but you you still want you know if, if you're looking for the market to go up yes you want aggressive buying but you also want strong bids coming in and what's going to help you identify that is imbalances selling imbalances on those green candles 
here, here. Just as if a market is pounding lower, what you like to see, you know, that is very nice to see. It just, and again, taking a step back to talking about sort of risk management in your trading, you know, understanding that there is still supply in the market, right? Because anytime you're making this new lows, right, you think, and if you're short, you're thinking, okay, this is it, you know, it's a green candle, I got to cover. But you still see supply in that market. Maybe you won't cover. Maybe you'll give the trade more room to run, right? I mean, you know, every trade, you still got to manage it. And for me, I always advocate that using order flow helps you manage the trades that you're in, right? Because if you're, if you're riding this all the way down to these new lows down here, there's not really any reason to buy off of, you know, these two green candles. So you're not going to, you don't want to cover it necessarily off of, you know, a red candle that keeps making new lows. You know, you're going to start recognizing, oh, hey, you know what? I got a green candle here. Okay. I see aggressive buying coming in and I see some decent passive buying also taking place to absorb whatever aggressive selling there is going in, you know, at the lows here. Okay. Then you start getting in here. And, and by this point, you should be, you know, if you haven't covered already, you're starting to see, you know, decent bids coming in, right? And a sign of a decent bid is a green candle with a selling imbalance. So this is, you know, the area that you'd cover, you know, be you know, the, the, the last, oh, not the last place, but, you know, maybe you covered it off of this bar here, definitely off of this bar already. You know, that's how being in a trade, you can manage it using the order flow. All right, so that wraps up this video on the inverse imbalance to see supply coming into the market. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And again, if you find my videos helpful to you, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You know, leave some comments below. I love reading your comments. I, I love hearing success stories. I love hearing how people um, comment. You know, because I do get a lot of emails from, from traders saying, Mike, you know, your videos have helped me become um you know, profitable. I've been struggling with my trading, you know, things like that. You know, it's, that's heartwarming. That's why I do these videos is, you know, to help traders, right? Help them understand what's taking place in the markets. I mean, we're living in this great information age where now we have computers that do all this stuff. You know, when I started, all you had was just the simple price bar, you know, CQG is this ugly orange color chart. <laughs> you know, that was it. Now you got all these colors going on, you know, the trading is very visual as well. Um, <laughs> you know, so it, it, it's just fascinating the, the, the information age that we're living in. So, all right, everyone, thanks again for watching my channels, watching my videos. You know, thanks again for being part of my order flow community. Your support is appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.